Hello world. How are you? <sighs> okay, so in case you wanted to see it, there's my port. I hate to take the band-aid off, but I guess I need to wash it, right? Because they didn't want us to touch it for a couple days. Ah, yeah, it's, yeah. All right, so there it is. There's the port. Um, that's what the chemo is going to be stuck into. It's a little device. Um, if you want to know more about it, just ask, and I'll show you the information they gave me. Um, I'm going to see if I can stick that back on there. Huh? <laughs> can you go back on there? Uh, I don't like it to be open. <laughs> Anyways, so, so that's that. Anyway, so, the, um, my name's Laura. I have breast cancer. I have f complicated to me, it's complicated because it's real wordy on what kind of breast cancer I have and all these markers that go with it and stuff. I'm a technical person, computer, technical, not medical, technical. <laughs> so I'm not on to all the medical stuff as much as I am computer stuff. I, um, I know that they told me now that I have to have three chemicals pumped into my body through this port and the first one is going to be doxorubicin d-o-x-o-r-u-b-i-c-i-n is the generic name but from what i read so far people understand it more in the trade name for this one is i'm going to spell it a D R I A M Y C I N. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. Is I got a big, uh, see if I can put that right there. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Kind of like that. Okay. So I have this notebook. Uh, excuse me notebook that has um, all this in it and anyway so that's going to be one of the drugs that they're going to pump into this port okay and another one that they're going to pump into this port is going to be called cytoxin c-y-t-o-x-a-n is the generic name the trade name is Neosar, N-E-O-S-A-R. They also have a generic name of cyclophosphamide. So I understand that the first one starts with an A, this one starts with a C, and this is rather common for the type of cancer that I have, I guess. And it's, I have a HER2 positive, I have um, estrogen and progesterone positive um, hormone receptor breast cancer with a 9 centimeter, which is a little over 3 inch tumor right there. Um, and then I also have DCIS, which is something that they call cancer, non-cancer. That's a big research study right now. Um, inside of the milk ducts that has spread outside the milk ducts, so they consider it cancer. And then I also have cancer in the lymph nodes underneath my left arm over here. All three cancer areas except for the tumor when I press on it, do not have any pain most of the time. I consider that to be dangerous because you can't feel it, okay? It doesn't, like, give you any feeling that it's there, which is dangerous. Um, I, 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 I'm 
beg all women out there now, please go get your mammogram. I know it's horribly uncomfortable. Please go do it and get any other cancer screenings that you need to do. And if you can afford, which I can't, but if you can afford the genetic testing to find out, you know, more about that, do it. Do everything that you can do to look at and analyze and find out more about your health in relation to cancer. Whatever you can do, go do it. Um, a lot of things I can't do. So luckily, I do have Medica Medicaid. I do not have Medicare. I have Medicaid that covers the medical part of all this, which is not going to help me much because... Um, my living expenses are not covered at all. Um, so that's the big worry right now. I mean, what good is getting treatments for 12 weeks with your immune system shut down if you're sleeping in your car? And, you know, what, what, what am I going to do? I can't do that. Um, I have asthma. I'll die within the first week. I don't want anything like that to happen. Um, anyway, so that's the other treatment as far as what's going into the, to the port thing. It's still sore. It, it was today's now the 24th. I think that's Tuesday. So um, it's Tuesday, really late going on Wednesday, and I had it done last Friday. So the soreness is still there, but subsiding. So whenever somebody talks about chemo with AC, those are the two drugs that they're talking about. Then um, there's this thing that they're going to put on me. It's like a little patch that's going to uh, inject a delivery of white blood cells like a day later after the cancer starts. And it's called, I don't know if I forgot the other one, but that, that's what it's called. Nuelasta on Pro, which I think they talk about in the commercials. Hmm. Okay. It's a generic drug name. Wow. P E G F I L G R A S T I M. Okay. S Nulasta on Pro. So it stimulates the growth of healthy white blood cells in the bone marrow. Once chemotherapy is given, white blood cells help the body to fight infection. This is not a chemotherapy drug. The medication is usually given at least 24 hours after chemotherapy to stimulate the growth of new, healthy white blood cells. Okay, so that's what that is. So I will have that patch on me after I start chemotherapy. Now, as I understand it, I believe, if I get this right, now, I, you know, as I learn more later, I'll have to update with more information later. But this is supposed to be a chemotherapy anti-cancer drug that I will be on after I am done with chemotherapy, I think. I don't know. So this will be the third one that they're going to put me on. Whoops. Which is standard. Taxol, that I understand is standard. It's called Taxol. Paxitaxol or Onzol. Taxol is an anti-cancer chemotherapy drug. Taxol is classified as a plant alkaloid and taxane and an antimicrotubule agent. Wow. It's used for the treatment of breast, ovarian, lung, bladder, prostate, melanoma, melanoma, esophageal, as well as other types of solid tumor cancers, which I have. It has also been used in Kaposi's sarcoma. 
If a drug has been approved for uh, one use, physicians sometimes elect to use the same drug for other problems. Okay. Uh, Taxol is given as an injection or infusion into the vein, so that will go into the port. It is Taxol is an irritant. An irritant is a chemical that can cause inflammation if the vein through which it is in uh, inflammation of the vein through which it is given. Um, if the medication escapes from the vein, it can cause tissue damage. The reason they put a port there is to minimize or eliminate tissue damage. So that's what that's about. Okay, so those are the drugs that I will be receiving. Um, the other problem that I mentioned in my Fundraiser has to do with this. Um, there, oh shoot, can't show it to you right now. There is a, okay, I have a, um, I have a scar here. It, uh, I had two different injuries here since I was 27 and then 37, I guess, so. I've been dis disabled my whole young life so far and didn't even allow myself to accept that until now. So I've lost quite a bit of life since 19, um, 1988, uh, rather. Yeah, it was 88, March 5th, 1988. I was 27. Um, I was born in 61, so 27 means, you know, one year younger than that year. Wait a minute, let's see, 27. Uh, yeah, 61, so 88, yep. So, <laughs> anyways, my point is this. I went into the technical career after that first problem because in 1989 trying to set up an entire future because I couldn't do physical work and then I proved yeah I, I could still not do physical work no matter how much I kept trying it popped out a joint and this and that and then I I got um I got um I got into a car accident. Um, I mean, somebody hit me with a car, rather. Um, when after I, after I quit smoking, I, I was trying to be in front of everybody because everybody r lights up out behind me when we were going across the street to go, um, to go uh, have lunch, and uh, we were all in a group, and uh, I got hit by a car. Um, so, anyways. I, after two years of therapy with that, it made it a lot worse. So in 2000, I finally had two different surgeries twice that year. So one surgery and then another. It, it's been through a long, long ordeal. Um, I still pushed myself to do physical labor. Dummy me. I didn't realize that the doctor put three pins in there. And it, I can't, um, like, I can't. There's bone, the joint and the bone are like, it's all scrunched together or something. I'm trying to get the, um, I'm trying to get the x-ray to put, to post it, but, um, I can't move it and it's in a lot of pain, but I have to wait for Medicaid to allow physical therapy and pain management or I don't know, you know, everybody's in control of everything except me. I have to sit here and wait for anyone to care. So, <laughs> so I got to wait for whatever I need for that that could help me. But in the long run, I need a, a, a replacement, a shoulder replacement. So they'll replace the, the whole, I mean, if you look it up, you'll see. They replace the ball and everything so that I could actually go like this and do whatever. <laughs> And then I'll be doing exercises with both of them. 
the right way so that both my sides of my strength will be equal, I hope, before I die. Um, but that won't come till I don't know when, three months from now or something, and I'm already way behind on the rent, and anyway, so that's why I have the fun, the, the fundraiser, um, is to help with life. I really want to do technical work for somebody that I could actually get paid for. <laughs> I do technical work for people, but no one pays me for anything. Or the one technical work that I'm, you know, able to do right now, I'm not going to get paid for it for like several weeks if I can get any hours in it. I mean, um, my website is skybits, S-K-Y-B-I-T-S dot com, skybits, computerbits <laughs> dot com. And um, I know I need to work on it, and I will keep working on it. And um, I will say the pain in my shoulder does control a lot of my feelings and anxiety and <laughs> everything. And I don't have any family or friends or anybody anywhere. I feel like I'm very, very alone. So... Um, I'm doing the best I can to keep up. Um, thank you. If you could please share and subscribe if you're on Facebook or anywhere that has a button there to subscribe in some way. Um, I will try to do more technical videos for my YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wish I could give you a big hug if you're able to help me. Even five dollars. I, I just hate to ask, but please I thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go now. Bye.